welcome back to the last segment of our April Showers event. Today we have some really great viewers that have agreed to help us, so welcome our guests. We're so glad to have you. We're going to finish off this event by going along again with our theme, which is April Showers. New beginnings and starting off the spring wonderfully. And along with that, we want our houses to be clean and our lives to be clean naturally and safely. So we've set up some recipes that we're going to show you today. All these recipes can be found in the cleaning section of the Essential Life book, as shown here, or within the spring lookbook. Brandy's gonna be our model over here. <laughs> Thanks for that. And so if you have any questions, please let us know. Feel free to comment. We do have people responding right now live and as well as afterwards, if you want to rewatch these videos, we'll be happy to answer any questions that you have. So thanks again to our volunteers for being here and let's get started. So our first recipe is a shower cleaner, thank you. And this recipe is kind of a combination of in the Essential Life book, you'll find the soap scum recipe and a shower cleaner. And so we've come up with this recipe, which we love for right now. So we're gonna start off with a cup and a half of warm water. I wanna go ahead and just dip it in there, yep. We're having some fun at the end of today's event. And uh, we found that a funnel is probably useful for these bottles. These are the, this is a 16 ounce, and these are eight ounces of the amber bottles. They're glass, and you'll find them um, on the website if you just search amber. We're gonna move this in frame, thanks so much. And then we'll go next to a half a cup of vinegar. And you'll see these are super easy. Another reason we wanted to have some of our viewers come and join us is because they've never been through these recipes before, and we just wanted to showcase how easy these recipes are, especially using the Essential Life book. Perfect, thanks. And then after this, we'll go ahead and add our essential oils. So for this one, we're gonna be using eucalyptus, melaleuca or tea tree oil, and lemon. Five drops of each of those, yeah. Five drops of melaleuca, five drops of, of eucalyptus, and 10 drops of lemon. Mm. And as we go through this, you'll find that this smells really strongly. And what I love about essential oils is that you can clean potently. This is something that will really work to clean your shower, to clean off that soap scum, but it's also safe. So as you're inhaling, you don't feel like you're damaging your body or your system at all. And is this for like all the parts of the shower, glass and the tile, every, all, everywhere? Yeah, great question, yes. Okay. Yeah, you absolutely can use it for that. Have you used essential oil cleaning products before? Um, yes but not always, so this is great options for me. Love a great it. a great time to try is the spring. New beginnings, right? And that's it. Thank yeah. you so much. And then you can go ahead and stir it up if you'd like. Okay. Put this, put yeah. this on yeah. and shake it. Yep. Yeah. And then we've got these triggers. Again, you can find all of these things, these containers and these parts at oillife.com. Perfect. So now, can I use that like in a week, or can I use it in a month? Is there any sort of shelf life? Probably not. Yeah, well, it, de it depends on how you store your essential oils. So we also have a little blog post up right now. It's live um, about how to store your essential oils, both being in glass or plastic, and also at what temperature to make sure that the shelf life of the oil stays good. So you don't want to keep it too warm or expose it to any air. You want to make sure that your containers are airtight. Great question, thank you so much. If you have more questions about that, please ask. There's also more information. We'll link that blog post. Thank you. Sure. So you can take the stickers out of the book. Yeah, yes, thank you for bringing that up. So, have you? do you have the lookbook? I just have one. Perfect, so now you have one, yeah. So, that's a great thing to bring up. In the middle of our lookbook, if you open it, it'll just open right to this page. We've got all of these stickers for wonderful recipes that are included within the lookbook and also within the download that comes with the lookbook, you'll see it says DIY kit. And there are several recipes, so as you make your own, you can buy these bottles and stick the label right on the front. And then you know what you made. So for those that aren't here live, how do they get the lookbook? Is that something they can order? Yes. Oh, okay, so, so there's a download, so they get this right. physically mm -hmm. and then download. Mm -hmm. okay. It's available for purchase again online and we'll link that. Awesome, cool. Thank you so much. Perfect. All right, so next, We've got a mold and mildew mixture. And this, I think, depending on where you live, can really come in handy as soon as it starts to get warm. Especially if you live somewhere that is a little bit humid, you can start to see mold pop up. Or sometimes within like bathrooms or showers, you can get a little mold there. So we'll have you move over here. Okay. Go ahead and... We're gonna trust Brandy on this one. Got this. <laughs> so we're gonna start with two cups of water. We're gonna find out <laughs> right here live. So this is our eight ounce amber bottle. Sound effects are awesome. I know, the sound effects are great. Like a 
Yeah, he's grabbing the strawberry. There you go. Okay. Perfect. Oh, we're going to get too close. There so we go. Right. You are high on the fence. Where's my extra? Okay. Just a little extra. So you may want to use a 16 ounce bottle. One and three fourths cups. One and three fourths cups. <laughs> <That'd be funny. laughs> Are we going to put them through this? This is the fun of the live videos. Come experiment with us. Um, yeah, so we're going to be putting a little bit of oil in here. We're going to be using Melaleuca and peppermint. Great mixture and also great smelling. I think we're going to end on one and three quarter cups. Thank you. Okay. Are you doing that? No vinegar? No vinegar. No vinegar. So not on this one. We're going to do 30 drops of Melaleuca, which is pretty strong. Yeah, so we're going to skip the vinegar on this one. <laughs> we'll all help count because that's quite a few. And then we'll go with 10 drops of peppermint. So again, what's great about these recipes is they're very adjustable. If you find that for you, um, something works better than other, you can add more oils or dilute with more water. Um, you're welcome to get a larger size if you want to do um, two cups of water instead of one and one third, three fourths. So 30 of that and, and 10, 10 peppermint. of peppermint. Oh, I know, it smells so good. What are your favorite spring cleaning traditions? Do you have any that you start with? Oh gosh, I try to avoid cleaning at all costs. <laughs> but this is kind of fun. I would recommend it. If you make your own stuff, then suddenly it's art to crafts. And it smells good too. Yes. Okay, so I'm Oil life in all its relevance, right? And that's it? Yep, that's it. So it's, it's that easy. And then again, you just screw on the little trigger and you've got your own mold and mildew solution. Voila! That's perfect. Watch out, Molding I'll do. I'm coming for you. <laughs> and this is when the stickers come in handy because now you've got a couple of these amber bottles and they're all filled up and they've got these great little triggers on them and you can just easily identify them with those stickers. So that's great. very cool. All right, this last one is my favorite one. Um, when it gets to the spring, when it gets to the summer, we start really going out to those gardens, to those farmers markets and wanting the freshest fruits and vegetables. But we know that sometimes it's hard to get away from the pesticides or the things that might be used to grow them. And we want to make sure that they're clean for your health, for your family's health, as safe as they can be. So, um, in the Essential Life book, you'll find a great veggie and fruit spray just to wash your vegetables and your produce before you use it. So, we're gonna do that really quick. Again, these are so easy. Do you trust me to do this again? I absolutely trust you, yes. Uh -huh. let's, let's do a half a cup of water. Okay. <laughs> half cup. Perfect. Coming and in. then, we're gonna use apple cider vinegar on this one. Again, the properties of apple cider vinegar are incredible. So we'll do half a cup of apple cider vinegar. Great. Teamwork over here. We got it. <laughs> Thank heavens for my helpers over here, for these wonderful volunteers. Okay, perfect. And then, this is great. This is a protective blend. So whichever kind of protective blend you're using, if you've created your own, you can find our protective blend within the Essential Life book, just under the blends. It'll tell you exactly what oils can go into it if you want to make your own. So we're going to use, let's see, five drops of a protective blend. Mm, so and then we'll steal that lemon from the other side. is something that you've been thinking about for a while but they're expensive or you haven't known what they do or how to use them we really recommend that you try out those recipes so you wash off your vegetable fruits mm -hmm. and then you spray on this and then you just leave them yeah i would spray it on first spray it on first let it sit for a little bit and then rinse it off with water oh, okay and you and it'll just clean it right off naturally and safely and it won't mess with the flavor or anything it will just be a really great way to make sure that your fruits and vegetables are coming as naturally just right from the ground, right? And you're getting all the vitamins that you need without the harmful pesticides or chemicals. Awesome. Yes. Great. Thank you so much for helping us. Any questions that you have that you think our viewers might have? The pressure of questions. <laughs> we talked about storage. We talked about, yeah. and they're safe for everybody. I have little tiny yeah. one at home. She should be fine. Um, That's the great thing about using these essential oils. And for any more information that you might need, the Essential Life book is a really great resource. The lookbooks are wonderful resources, got lots of recipes, got lots of tips. And of course, you can always reach us at our customer service or by our Facebook page. We'll be as responsive as we possibly can. Thank you so much for joining us.
This has been a wonderful April Salads event, and we can't wait to see you at the next one. Bye. 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 Bye.